Hi everyone. Today we are going to solve a problem on a rank and cycle which uses reheat. So here we can see the problem steam at a pressure of 15 bar and 250 degree Celsius is expanded through a turbine at first to a pressure of 4 bar. It is then reheated at a constant pressure to, a in, to the initial temperature of 250 degree Celsius and is finally expanded to 0.1 bar. Using Molière chart, estimate the work done per kg of the steam flowing through the turbine and amount of heat supplied during the process of reheat. Compare work done when the expansion is direct from 15 bar to 0.1 bar without any reheat. Assume all expansion process is to be isentropic. So here we can see it is a Rankine cycle where we are using reheat. So if we have read the problem that initially the point is at a 15 bar and 250 degree Celsius which is expanded till where 0.4 bar. So first point is 15 bar to 50 degree Celsius then it is expanded till 4 bar. So we can see here point number 1 here it is a 15 bar and 250 degree Celsius. It is expanded till where? Till point the till 4 bar. So it is the point 2 which is 4 bar point 1 is 15 bar and 250 degree Celsius. And then it is reheated at a constant pressure to initial temperature of 250 degree Celsius. And it is finally expanded to point 1 bar. So at a constant pressure, what does the constant pressure mean? Means after it has expanded from 15 bar to 4 bar, that is point number 1 to point 2, point number 2, it remains at a 4 bar. The final expansion point is 4 bar. It remains at a 4 bar and at this 4 bar, it is again reheated till the 250 degree Celsius. And finally, again it is expanded till point 1 bar. So from 3 to again we are going back to 4.1 bar. So this is our reheat. The remaining parts remain same that is we got a Rankine cycle, we got a pumping of the pumping, we got a heat addition here, heat rejection, pumping power but instead of only we are we are only changing at the point that is we are doing the work from 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 that is high pressure turbine low pressure turbine and the extra heat addition takes place that is 2 to 3 so we can plot this over a molier chart that is h is enthalpy s is the entropy you got a constant pressure line a saturation line 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 so more clearly we can see here we can plot how to plot this thing in a molier chart point number 1 is 15 bar you need to have two points to locate the enthalpy. So it's got a 15 bar and a 250 degree Celsius line. So you have a 15 bar line, you have got a 250 degree Celsius line. Where they meet, it is known as point number one. If you note down the value of enthalpy, if you go straight, we can note down the value of the enthalpy here. And we can note down, this is H1. Then it expands till where, you can look at the diagram, it expands till where, from 15 bar to 50 degree Celsius to 4 bar. So you look at the 4 bar line, you draw a straight line from 1 to 2 till the 4 bar line, then you note down the point number 2 and note down the value of enthalpy 2660. This is H2. You got H1, you got H2. To reheat, what we have to do? We know that reheating takes place from at a constant pressure. At a constant pressure till where? 250 degree Celsius. Now our pressure at a point 2 is 4 bar. So if it is at a 4 bar, we are reheating till where? At a constant pressure till 250 degree Celsius. From 2 to 3, we are reheating it. So follow this 4 bar line till where? Till it meets the 250 degree line. So you note down the value. This is known as H3. This is the H3. Then you can read the question. Finally, it is expanded till 0.1 bar. So if it is expanded till 0.1 bar, so 3 to 4, that is simply draw a straight line from 3 to 4. So we can note down this is a H4. So this is how we need to look at the Molière chart. So we will 
look into the actual molar chart first we before draw before looking into the actual molar chart we need to draw a, a rough diagram of the h versus entropy how can you plot over a molar chart actual molar chart so here we can note down the pressure p one is 15 bar and 250 degree celsius that is the first inlet pressure then finally the high pressure turbine final pressure is 4 bar the, and the final low pressure turbine pressure is 0.1 bar so how to calculate the work output so work output is where there are two points expansion takes place from 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 so there are two points of expansion 1 to 2 3 to 4 and the heat addition also there are two points of heat addition so now you look h1 minus h2 plus h3 minus h4 there are two works this is the high pressure turbine work done this is low pressure work low pressure turbine work done this h1 minus h2 h3 minus h4 that is h1 minus h2 h3 minus h4 two point of there are two points at which we are doing the work so next where is the heat added reheat is added where the heat reheat is added over a 2 to 3 because after expansion till 4 bar we are again reheating it heating the steam till it reaches 250 degrees celsius that is h2 h3 minus h2 if it was if we need to find the amount of heat added in the boiler then we can take it as h1 minus h6 also but in the question what is he asking is we can look at the question so so he has not asked you about the heat added in the boiler if he if he would have asked this such a thing then you you should have added h1 minus h6 but you need not worry about h1 minus h6 just you need to find h3 minus h2 that is amount of reheat this is the extra heat added h3 minus h2 so using the molier chart we have found h1 is 2920 h2 is 2660 h3 is 2960 and h2 is 2335 so how to look at the molier chart we will go through so look here so what is you can look here in the molier chart this is the entropy this is the entropy and this is the enthalpy so you can look at this this is the enthalpy lines we will unzoom it so this is the this is the entropy this is the enthalpy so so what is our point number one point number one is 15 bar and 250 degree celsius you can look here it is 15 bar and 250 degree celsius so where is the uh, constant pressure line see look here it is 15 bar this is a constant pressure line it goes up to 50 degree percent. till where it goes till 250 degrees look here it is 250 degree celsius so 15 bar meets with 250 degree celsius at a point this is the point of 15 bar and 250 degree celsius then what we have to do so we have to move along this so we have to move along the left we will note down the h1 value this is the h1 now next what happens it expands 15 bar to 50 degree celsius expands till where it expands till 4 bar so it is a isentropic expansion so it is a straight line it expands till 4 bar so you just draw a straight line from here till 4 bar and you move to the left you note down the h2 value this is the enthalpy now after noting down the h2 it is this at a 4 bar if you read if you recall the problem in the problem he had told at a constant pressure the steam is reheated till 250 degree celsius what is the constant pressure so this is our final pressure that is 4 bar so 4 bar is the pressure which remains constant it does not change it gets reheated till where 250 degree celsius you have to follow the four bar line this is the four bar line but follow the four bar line till it reaches 250 degree line so four bar line should cut the 250 degree line so as it cuts the 250 degree line you can note down the enthalpy again so as the four bar line cuts the 250 degree line we find a point so we go horizontally to the 
enthalpy line so we can note down the h4 so sorry sorry h3 this is h1 h2 h3 so h3 we can note down so we got the h3 now by looking at this graph this lines we can note down the value so each graduation represents 20 kilojoule per kg uh, so one two nine so you can see two nine eight zero so this two nine eight zero next what we need to do is we will again in the question if you read it is telling that the 4 bar 250 degrees Celsius in a low pressure turbine expands till where it expands till 4 bar line so simply you need to draw a straight line till where you have to draw the straight line till it reaches a 0.1 bar line so this you can see here it is a 0.1 bar constant pressure line so 0.1 bar it meets a 0.1 bar now move horizontally horizontally then you can note down the value of enthalpy so what is the value of enthalpy this is h4 2320 2340 2360 2360 is the h4 so you know h1 h2 h3 h4 so when you know the all the enthalpy set 1 2 3 4 you can find the amount of work done and amount of reheat so you can see here h1 you have noted down h2 h3 h4 now what we need to do we need to calculate the amount of total work so it is the total work is h1 minus h2 so h1 minus h2 oh, sorry what is it h1 minus h2 h1 minus h2 first expansion first expansion this is the first turbine so first expansion h1 minus h2 h1 minus h2 so h1 minus h2 and next h3 minus h4 that is h3 minus h4 that is the low pressure turbine so we substitute h1 h2 h3 h4 so we get the total amount of the work done uh, for a low pressure high pressure and low pressure turbine next this is the amount of work done per kg of steam so this is the answer to the problem next we need to find the amount of heat supplied during the reheat so as i told you there are two heats uh, heat heat is supplied at two points one is h1 minus h6 here also heat is supplied here also heat, heat is supplied he is not asking about this point but later on other problems you need to find this also h1 minus h6 for time being this problem he has not asked this h1 minus h6 he only he has asked reheat that is where is the reheat h3 minus h2 so note down the value h3 minus h2 so what is the reheat reheat is h3 minus h2 kilojoule per kg kelvin so we need to find the reheat so to calculate the amount of reheat we will substitute h3 h2 so we get 300 kilojoule per kg now this is the this ends you so here the first problem ends this is the first problem till here so this is the first problem now second part we will solve what is the second part he is telling compare the work output when the expansion is directly from 15 bar to 0.1 bar so here the expansion takes place from 15 bar to 0.1 bar so what happens when the expansion takes place from 15 bar to 0.1 bar so uh, second part of the problem when there is no reheat there is no reheat what will happen this reheat part will not come so simple problem it becomes a simple problem which we have already solved the steam expands from 15 bar to 0.1 bar so it is represented by a straight line here also all, all these things won't be there so 115 bar 250 degrees celsius till 0.1 bar so molier chart also changes and ts diagram also changes so what we'll do is we have to note down the value of h1 and h4 so we have to go to the molier chart so the steam is expanding from a 15 bar to 50 degrees celsius till 0.1 bar so we draw a straight line straight line this is the arrow mark which i have represented 
till where till where should be the straight line it should be till 0.1 bar line and note down the value of enthalpy so after noting down the value of enthalpy we already know h1 we need to find the the final value and we note down the value then we know h1 we know h4 so we subtract h1 minus h4 so we get the the enthalpy so sorry uh, we get the work done so you can compare the amount of work done if we use a reheat the amount of work done is 885 kilojoule per kg if we don't use the reheat it is uh, 795 kilojoule per kg so uh, we can see reheat is really beneficial for our for producing lot more amount of work if we use reheat the amount of work done will be will go on increasing if you remove the reheat the amount of work done will suddenly reduce so this is the end of the problem so you write the same problem in a sheet of paper and submit it as an assignment